Okay, so we're on the uh, fraction worksheet, and I said I was going to check these by using a computer to do it. And uh, you should learn how to use a computer, by the way, when I mean by a calculator. So I want to go uh, to a product called Sage. It's an open source software, and type these problems in now. So 15 divided by 45. And what does it say? It says one third. What did we say? We said one third. Let's do the next one, which is 24 <coughs> divided by 40. It says three fifths. What did we say? We said three fifths. Let's do 24 divided by eight now. What does it say? Three. What did we say? Three. I think you get the idea. All right, let's keep scrolling through this. And let's do the next one, which is 18 over 81. 18 divided by 81. What does it say? Two ninths. What did we say? We said two ninths. Let's do 14 divided by 35. Two fifths. What did we say? Two fifths. 57 divided by 69. And again, you should learn how to use a calculator. What does it say? 19 over 23. That's what we got. All right? So let's do the next one, 0 divided by 7. It says 0. What did we say? 0. Let's do 7 divided by 0. It says there's a problem. It says division error. You can't divide by zero, by the way. Rational division by zero. It's a division you can't do. Undefined. Let's do 42 divided by 56. And that gives you three quarters. What did we say three quarters? Let's do 30 divided by 34. Mistakes can happen, by the way. I do mean that. 15 over 7. All right, I'm going to clear the screen. Get a little busy there. And let's do that problem again, because I just said it, but then I didn't check it. Oh, yeah, 15. Okay. Let's do the multiplication. Again, learning to do multiplication on a computer, you might find it to be a bit odd. It's 5 divided by 6, and then times, right, it's a multiplication symbol, 2 divided by 15. And this is a learning experience for a lot of students to do that. And, of course, it says it's 1 ninth. What did we say 1 ninth? Let's do this one, 35. Divide by 38, and then we're going to multiply it by 19 over 21. What do we get? 5, 6. Well, we got 5, 6, too. Now, the next one, it, it's crossed out. It, I really feel bad about that, too, because it's really hard to read that. All right? But I, I think I can. I think it says 15 divided by 16, and then times, it looks like 12 divided by 45. And it says one quarter. Well, we got one quarter. Let's do the next one. Looks like six fifths times 25 over 42. Again, just typing in five sevenths. We're doing all right. Let's do this one. 23 divided by 40 times 8. And that's 23 fifths. We got that. Let's do the next one, which is 50 divided by 49 times 14 divided by 15. <coughs> Hit the return, you get 20 over 21. We're doing okay. Let's do the next one, 3 twelfths times uh, 4 ninths. And you get 1 ninth. All right, let's see. Wow, we're doing okay. Let's do the next one, 3 twenty fifths times 15, 15 over uh, 14. And you get 9 over 70. We're doing fine. Let's do 3 divided by 13 and multiply by 7 over 2. What do we get? 21 over 26. Let's do 40 times 3 fifths. So notice I'm just typing out what I'm seeing over here. And that says 24. We're in agreement. Now division, a little bit tricky, by the way, because you're wondering, you know, what am I doing over here? It's tricky. It is, and especially when using a calculator. And we're not trying to confuse you, by the way. But it's actually 8 divided by 5. And then we're going to say divide. It's another division symbol, by the way. But we need to put in parentheses, by the way, 2 divided by 15. I know that seems strange to you. What do you get? You get the number 12. That's what we got over there. Let's do the next one. And again, I'm going to go through this with you. It's 24 divided by 25. And now we're dividing by a fraction. That's why I'm putting it in parentheses. We're dividing by 14 over 15. You could have also done some multiplication, but division, you can get some confusion with it. So let's see what happens. 
and we get 36 over 35. I'm getting that one right. Let's do this one over here. It's 9 divided by the fraction. What fraction? The fraction is um, 3 fourteenths. What do you get? You get 42. Let's check that out. 42. Let's do the next one. 13 divided by 5 divided by, and what's that going to be? Divide by 4. What do you get there? 13 over 20. We're doing okay. Let's keep moving. 9 divided by 35, and then we're going to divide by another fraction, and we're dividing by 45, divide by 14. And what do you get? 2 over 25. We're doing okay. 18 divided by 23, and we're dividing by another fraction, and that's 6 divided by 5. Again, those grouping symbols were necessary. What do you get? 15 over 23. Let's do the next one. 27 divide by 28, divide by the fractions in parentheses now. So, did I type that right? 17 over 28. You know what? I typed it wrong. I'm go back over it. I just realized that. It's 27 divide by 28. Divide. Now, it happens to students, too. They type in the wrong numbers. They don't realize they made a mistake. 18 divide by 48. What do you get? 18 over 7. And I see that over there. All right? Let's do the next one. That's going to be 15 divided by 35. Divide by, uh, that's going to be 25 over 45. And that's in the grouping symbol again. What do you get? 27 over 35. I'm seeing that. Let's do the next one. 9 divided by 16. Divide by 81 over 64. And what do you get? You get 4 ninths. We're doing fine. 10 divided by 21, divide by 4 divided by 7. What do you get? 5, 6. We got 5, 6. All right, let's do this. 4 fifteenths plus 2 fifteenths. What do you get? 2 fifths. Well, we got 2 fifths. 18 over 35 minus 3 over 35. What do you get? Three sevens. That's what we got. 17 over 42 minus 1 over 42. What do you get? 8 over 21. We're doing fine. 19 over 38 plus 12 over 38. And it's a good idea to become familiar with using a computer, by the way, or a calculator. Calculators are computers. That's 31 over 38. We're doing fine. 11 over 12. Uh, minus 4 over 12. It's really easy to make a mistake, by the way, including typing something in or hand arithmetic. 7 twelfths. What's the next one? 26 divided by 51 minus 11 divided by 51. What do you get there? 5 seventeenths. That's what we got. Let's do the next one. 19 over 21. Uh, let's see, plus 23 over 21. What do you get there? The number 2. Did I type in something wrong? 19 over 21, 23 over 21, and 52 over 21. Oh, you know what? Let's see if I typed that in right. Oh, I see I made a mistake here. And the reason I've made a mistake is 19 plus 23. I said it's 52. It's not 52. What is it? It's 42. And 42 divided by 21 is going to be 2. So I made a mistake. Like I'm saying, it's easy to make a mistake, by the way. Made a mistake in addition, right? So 37 is incorrect, by the way. The correct answer should be 2. Let's put the next one down, which is 1 divided by 8. And I'm glad I made a mistake, by the way. Indicate that we all make mistakes. 3 quarters. I'm doing okay there. What's the next one? 28 divided by 15 minus 3 divided by 15. What does that give me? 5 thirds. I'm seeing that. 31 divided by 60 uh, minus 11 divided by 60. And what do you get? One third. As we said, one third. Let's do the next set. Next set is different denominators. 7 divided by 8 minus 3 divided by 4. What did you get? One eighth. What did we get? One eighth. Let's do the next one. 4 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 15. <laughs> 
And what do you get? Four, 14 15 so We're doing okay there. 7 over 25 plus 3 over 5. Whoops. Sorry about that. So 7 over 25 plus 3 over 5. And what do you get? 22 over 25. We did okay. Let's do the next one. 3 quarters. 3 divided by 4 plus 7. What does it give me? 31 quarters. We got that one right too. Let's put the next one down, which is 3 minus 5 over 2. What do you get there? 1 half. What did we get? 1 half. Let's do the next one, which is 2 fifths, and that's plus 2 sevenths. That's 24 over 35. We got that. Let's do the next one, which is 3 eighths, and 3 eighths plus 2 thirds. What do you get there? 25. Whoops, let's scroll up over 24. We're doing fine. And what's the next one going to be? 5 6. And then it's going to be plus 2 15s. And you get 29 over 30. We did okay there. What's the next one going to be? 7 tenths uh, minus 5 18 What do you get there? 19 over 45. We're doing fine. 31 divided by 35. And that's going to be plus 3 14 What does that give me? 11 tenths. We're doing fine. All right, challenges or mixed challenges. Let's put 0 divided by 29. What do we get? 0. We got 0. Let's do this one. 3 14 And again, we're just checking. Plus 3 14 And what do you get there? 3 7 5 thirds plus 5 7 what do you get there? 50 over 21. We're doing fine. Let's do 8, and we're going to divide it by a fraction. Remember, we're going to put in parentheses now. What's the fraction going to be? 2 fifths. What does that give you? 20. Wow, right, we're doing okay. 11 fourteenths minus 1 divided by 2. What does it give you? 2 sevenths. We're doing fine. So let's do the next one. The next one's going to be 37 divided by 70 minus 19 divided by 70. What do you get there? 9 out of 35. We're doing fine. 2 divided by 5 times 40. What do you get there? You get 16. We got 16. Let's do the next one. 2 divided by 5 divided by 40. 40 is a single number. What do you have there? 1 100th. 1 100th. Let's do 10 minus 2 thirds. What do you get? 28 thirds. I'm seeing that there. What's next one? 12 times 2 divided by 5. What do you get there? 24 fifths. We're doing fine. Let's do the next one. 2 divided by 7 divided by parentheses 1 divided by 5. What do you get there? 10 sevenths. We're doing fine. You get 8 over 35 times... 15 over 2. What does that give you? 12 sevenths. We got, we're doing fine there. 8 over 35. And then it's going to be plus 3 over 28. What did you get? 47 over 140. We're doing fine. 8 divided by 11 minus 7 divided by 33. What does that give you? 17 over 33. We're doing fine. Now we get 5 divided by 12. We're going to be dividing by a fraction that goes in parentheses, 1 divided by 6. What does that give you? 5 over 2. All right, let's do the next one, which is 5 twelfths minus 1 sixth. And what do you get there? You get 1 quarter. We're doing fine. 27 over 81, simple reduction. But the computer's going to do it for us. It's 1 third. All right, let's go to the next one, which is 5 eighteenths. And we're going to divide that by a fraction. Again, it goes in parentheses. 10 divided by 27. What do you get? 3 quarters. Well, we got 3 quarters. Let's do this one. 20 over 39. And then uh, minus 7 over 39. What does it give you? 1 third. Well, we got that one right too. 19 divided by 8 plus 21 divided by 8. What do you get? The number 5. What do we get? The number 5. Let's do the next one. 
49 divided by 56. What do you get there? 7 eighths. What did we get? 7 eighths. Let's do 90 divided by 27. What's that going to be? 10 thirds. I got 10 thirds. Let's do the next one. 1 divided by 39 plus 2 over 21. What did you get there? 11 over 91. Got that one right. Let's do the next one, which is 5 divided by 12, and then divide by a single number, which is 15. What do you get over there? 1 over 36. All right, did that one, okay. Next one's 8 times 5 divided by 6. What do you get there? 20 thirds. Let's do the next one. That's going to be 8 minus 5 divided by 6. What's that going to be? 43 over 6. Again, we did this one. We got to move it over there. 43 over 6. We're doing fine. Let's do the next one, which is 5 over 2 plus 2 divided by 5. What do you get there? You get 29 tenths. Let's take a look. 29 tenths. All right. Let's do the next one, which is 18 divided by 49. And we're dividing by a fraction. That goes in parentheses, which is 3 fourteenths. What do you get there? 12 sevenths. I did fine. Let's do 28. And again, you get another machine that's going to like sort of balk at this. It's a division error again. You can't divide by 0. And that's undefined. Let's do 1 divided by 9. And then what do you get? Plus 1 divided by 5. And what do you get there? 14 over 45. Next one, 2 divided by 45 plus 5 divided by 36. What do you get there? 11 over 60. All right. What's the next problem going to be? 3 over 35. And then plus 13 divided by 15. What does that give me? 20 over 21. Well, let's do the next one. 1 divided by 24 minus 1 divided by 40. What do you get there? 1 over 60. We're doing fine. 2 divided by 5 and then plus 1 over 6. What do you get there? 17 over 30. All right, we're batting 100. 5 divided by 0. Again, you should get comfortable with this. It's a division by 0 error again, undefined. 11 divided by 18. And then plus 5 over 18. What does it give you? 8 ninths. And we got 8 ninths. 34 over 45. Uh, plus 3 over 35. And again, some errors could pop into this, like you're, you're typing the wrong numbers in or you did bad arithmetic. But we're getting the same answer, 53 over uh, 63. What's the next one? It's 5 divided by 9. And then times uh, 4 divided by 9. What do you get there? 20 over 81. We're doing fine. Let's do 8 divided by 9. Divide in parentheses that other fraction. We're dividing by the fraction, which is 8 over 9. You can also do that for multiplication, by the way. It's 1. What do we have here? We got 1. Let's do the next one. 7 divided by 26 plus 7 divided by 30. What do you get there? 98 over 195. That's what we got, 98 over 195. That was a more difficult question, by the way. 15 divided by 26 minus 2 divided by 13. What do you get there? 11 over 26. Let's just check it out. 11 over 26. 16 divided by 27. Divide by the fraction that goes in parentheses, 24 ninths. What do you get there? 2 ninths. And we got 2 ninths, too. 120, divide, in parentheses, that's 5 twelfths. What do you get there? I made a mistake, and I just noticed it. So we need to write that down again, and I'll type it in. It says it's invalid syntax, and I see it, but you may not understand that. 120, it's divide by the fraction 5, divide by 12. If your machine's spitting back nonsense, just retype it. What do you get? 288. What do we get? 288. It's right over here. All right, let's go to the next one, which is 3 fifths times 200. What do we get? 120. We got also 120. Let's do 1 divided by 24 now, and that's going to be plus 1 divided by 21. What does it give you? 5 over 56. We're doing fine. 19 over 24 uh, minus 5 divided by 8. What does that give you? 1 6. And we got 1 6 too. Let's do 9 sixteenths now. 
uh, minus 13 over 32. What does it give you? 5 over 32. And um, I got to pull this on the side, by the way. Sorry about that. Got to run out of room over here. And then uh, let's do the last remaining problems. 15 uh, divide by 14. And then we're dividing by a fraction, by the way. What's the fraction going to be? 3 over 28. And what do we get? We get 10. What do we get? We got 10, all right? So let's do the next one, which is 5 minus 7 quarters. And again, you really should learn how to use a calculator. Whether it's what I'm using or what you're using, it doesn't much matter. So we'll use whatever you want to use. 13 quarters. Well, we got 13 quarters. Let's do the next one. I have a lot of cross outs here, but I'll, I think I can read over that. Looks like 7 over 27. And then times 9 divided by 28. And that gives you 1 12th. We got that. Let's do 19 divided by 95. And what do you get there? You get 1 out of 5. Now, I hope you remember I, I made one error. All right, I made one error. And I'm going to say I made an error. Okay, so I, how many did I get right then? Out of the 100, I'm sorry, out of the 101, I got 100 right. So let's write this down 100 divided by 101. And that's how many we got right out of 101. And that's 100 out of 101. Now, if I want to convert that to a decimal number, I want to put that down for you. So 100 divided by 101. All you got to do is put a decimal somewhere. I'll put it right over here. And then we get this over here. What am I going to do? I want to make a percentage. So I'm going to take the same thing I just did, and I'm going to multiply it by 100 now to make it a percentage. What percent did I get? Well, I got 99% on it. I did make one mistake. Now, someone says, why isn't it you know, better than 99? It is better than 99%. But, you know, it's these things over here. And this is always, I always say decimals always make things much more interesting and more difficult, too, by the way. We like the rational natures of, of these numbers that we're writing. And they're just ratios of integers. Everything I've given you has been a ratio of integer, including things that are just integer, like 120. It's a ratio of two integers, 120 over 1. Thank you for paying attention.